I'm just gonna do some quick stretches. Yesterday I didn't stretch before the walk and I definitely felt that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna hit just some quick stretches. Touch toes. doesn't look like I was going that low and stuff like that that's perfectly okay you don't want to discourage yourself um, you're not gonna be able to stretch and touch your toes or maybe you can that's great um, yesterday I did feel that burn so to kind of get myself ready I wanted to stretch out before I hit my mile um, today we're gonna be hitting I believe it was chest bicep and I told myself, I kept reminding myself that I was going to have to tell you guys about that, but I kept forgetting. That was my fault. Um, right now, my starting weight is 407. Last year, it was 420. 420, but now my starting weight today, yesterday was 407. Um, I, have, I didn't eat anything. Right now, before the workout, I actually I, I just kind of felt a little slower because I had food in me. I had uh, those slices of pizza. I, I didn't really feel good about it. I didn't feel good with myself. I kind of felt a little sluggish. I, I just didn't have the energy I wanted. So uh, earlier when I'd woken up, I had a, a bowl, of, a little bowl of cereal, some frosted flakes. So. That was hours ago. Um, <clears throat> right now, I'm gonna try to fit in two miles before my brother gets here for the lift again. Uh, if not, then I'll finish that off once we're done with our lift. And definitely I'll be getting that on camera again, guys. Uh, this is day number two. <clears throat> now, I might not post on the weekends, I'm not sure, I'm just kind of going to see how I feel about this, what days I'm going to lift. Every day I'll be walking, every day. Um, I'm still trying to think if maybe even that, uh, I might not walk every day, but maybe I will. It's just walking, it can't hurt you, right? So, I might walk a uh, bare minimum of two miles every day. Right now I do have the luxury of having a treadmill in the complex that I stay at. <clears throat> So I want to utilize that as much as I can because I know some people don't have it and some people have to go out to a trail. And in the future, I'm gonna do that as well. Maybe next week I'll start hitting a, there's a three and a half mile trail that I used to run. Uh, back in 2018, I was like 21, 20, 21. 20 years old, something like that, and um, after work, after my graveyard shifts in the morning, I would change in the restroom, and then I would go run. I would run, when I got tired, I'd walk. When I caught my breath, I'd start jogging again, and I would do the whole trail, and it will take me something like 45 minutes to do the, maybe a little longer, like 50 minutes to do the the full trail, the full three miles, and um, I didn't do that every day either. I only did that on Sunday morning and Monday mornings, where I'd go run that trail. So uh, even just like that, I had seen, I had lost 75 pounds in three months. Um, the other routine I would follow is days that I wouldn't run, walk a mile before I started getting in the weights. After the weights, I'll walk another mile. And uh, <clears throat> I would take C4, and I started seeing a lot of muscle growth. So later on, I will start taking that. Once I start getting more, once my weights start getting more intense, maybe in a couple weeks, 
I'll definitely show you guys if I start taking drinks before or if I start drinking anything before. Right now it's just water, no soda. Um, I'm not being really picky on what I'm eating. It's just like, I'm really limiting. If I get hungry, I'll eat something and I'll write it down and I'll let you guys know about it. But as of now, today I've only eaten a bowl of cereal. Other than that, I haven't eaten anything else. This is day two. And again, this is to show that you can do it. And of course, I, I didn't really want to come out here knowing I was going to have to do a mile before and a mile after. But it starts with you. And you just got to take that first step. And then the second, third, fourth, and you just keep going as much as you can. But, you know, it's important to give yourself that break. Give yourself that time. Um, I'll definitely come back on right now once I'm done with my first mile. Uh, and we'll go ahead and take it from there. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm back. I am about to finish my mile. I wanted you guys to finish this with me. We just finished our mile, and I'm gonna lower down the speed. Still lowering down the speed. <coughs> All right, so I finished my mile, 24 minutes and 20 seconds. I think yesterday it was 24 minutes as well. So I want you guys to Tell me what your walking mile time is, or tell me what your running mile time is. And just put it in the comments, and we can check on this again in two weeks, and we'll see how much we've progressed, how much we've changed. Right now, I'm averaging at about 24 minutes to finish a mile. Uh, right now, I'm just walking, stretching out my legs, because they burn. I was pushing it, I was focused. Yesterday, I did a lot of talking during my mile, Today, I just focused on walking, focused on keeping the same pace. And that's, that's also something I wanted to tell you guys about. It's not easy, you know. It is hard. Walking, it's, that's the first step. And like I told you, your muscle, your brain, strongest muscle. It's not always gonna work for you. Uh, but once you start showing your brain that no matter what thoughts you get, no matter what crosses your mind, no matter what negative thoughts you can get in your head or what can discourage you, you're gonna go. You're gonna go out there, you're gonna put your shoes on and you're gonna get that walk in. And once you start showing your brain, your dedication, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be an everyday thing. And it's gonna start helping you because it's gonna realize, wow, I feel a lot better after this workout. I feel a lot better after this walk. And it's not gonna continue to just put you down and put you down and make you not want to walk or work out it's going to start motivating you you're going to start motivating yourself but i'll tell you what one thing right now today i was having a problem with is my thoughts i was walking i was on lap two out of four and i hit that wall i didn't want to go why are you going at this speed you can lower it down you can take your time you can stop, you can take a break. And you know, I can, I can do that, but I don't want to. I want to push myself. I want to hold myself accountable. Accountability to me is a really big, a really good uh, thing to have. And but that's one reason that I'm doing this, that I'm posting these videos, that I'm going out of my way to record myself looking like this, tired, <clears throat> struggling, <clears throat> and it's to hold myself accountable that I'm doing, I'm not just doing this for me, I'm doing this for the people that are gonna watch me in the future, that are gonna watch me now. To show you guys that it's possible, that you can do it, and it's not easy. It's not easy as, as waking up and doing it, you know, you have problems, you have your work, you have life, you have your job, you have feelings, we're human, we go through that, but that's part of the journey. Going through that, pushing through it, and finding out what you're made of, finding out what you can make yourself 
into. Uh, what I'm going to start doing is a mile before the lift and a mile after the lift. And I'm going to do that every day. I don't, maybe I'll take a rest day. I'm definitely going to rest from the weights, but uh, as far as walking, I right now, again, I have this opportunity where I have a treadmill. Oh, I got sweat in my eyes. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. I have this opportunity where at the complex I live in, we have a treadmill, and it's a very, very high-tech treadmill. I'm not going to lie. I've never had a treadmill like this in my life. So I want to utilize this opportunity that I have to get my legs ready to start hitting that trail again so that I can start running. And I am a little scared of the loose skin and stuff like that, but that's something that we're gonna go through together. Dealing with the loose skin, dealing with the, the after product, that's something that we're gonna go through together um, through these videos. So right now I'm just waiting for my brother. I'm gonna go ahead and call him right now to see where he's at, just to kind of see if he's close. Uh, I am at 30 minutes of walking. I walked an extra five. I'm about to finish my fifth lap. So that'd be like a mile and 140, a mile and 140. So uh, let me go ahead and call my brother. And then of course, uh, you know, it's gonna be chest, bicep, and you know, whatever else he has planned. I'm glad, you know, my brother, whenever he does feel comfortable coming on camera, he's really, he's really buff. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So. I'm blessed that I have someone like that in my life that can give me a sense of direction. And he's here. So, so this is gonna be the warm-up for curls. Um, like you guys saw, my brother just got in once I was talking about it. It was very funny. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start my lift right now. I can hold it like this. Yeah, however, however. Feel that pretty good. Let's go for 12. One more. Oh, yeah. That was good. I feel it in my upper bicep, actually. Not like here, but more up here. That feels good, so I'm excited right now to hit this with you guys, and I'll come back to you right now. Yeah. So, right now we're going to hit flies for the chest. I am a little sore, I do feel it right now just by moving my arm out, so I'm not going to go super heavy. When I was doing uh, dumbbell bench press, I was using the 50s, uh, but today I'm going to just probably do maybe the 35s or 30s and just see how it feels, and if I need to go heavier, I'll go heavier. You move the camera. <laughs> That's like... <laughs> oh, damn. <sighs> If you want, you can kind of mix it with like a dumbbell press kind of type, like go down low and then... Because we're still going to dumbbell press today for bench. Okay, so I didn't, I didn't really feel like I was getting the form right with the, with the, with the dumbbell flies, so... I'm just gonna be hitting bench press, dumbbell bench press right now. Uh, I'm gonna probably go for as many as I can just to feel the work. And I'll come back to you guys right now.
get that mind to muscle connection. Final stretch, about to finish my second mile after the workout. I was dying, dude. Those weights were killing me. Um, all right, guys, I just finished the second mile of the workout, and it was challenging, and I am tired. But again, this is for everybody, so we can do this together to show you through consistency, you can lose the weight, and you can make a difference in yourself. Uh, I'm just walking it off right now, finished the mile completely just try to catch my breath i'll go ahead and recap with you guys once i get out of here and get back to the apartment but overall great workout guys i hope you did your workouts today too and again comment what you what you feel or what is what's your mile what's your how long it takes you to do your mile how long it takes you to run your mile i just want to know what you guys times are i'll see you guys later all right guys so i did finish that second mile it was not easy it was very challenging my legs hurt my arms hurt the workout i got in with my brother was very good very challenging i felt the tension throughout the whole workout um <clears throat> I, as soon as i got in i drank a half well i wouldn't say half it was more water with a dash of cranberry juice i love the way that tastes it's just man sometimes that really gets me through the workout is the after drinks I was thinking about starting to drink maybe a C4, a C4 can energy drink before the lift. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about those, if you would recommend it. Um, I Still, I don't know. It's up in the air. If I do, I'll let you guys know for sure, um, especially what flavor I try. But overall, great workout today. So I ate a small bowl of Frosted Flakes. And well, again, thank you for following along. And this is day number two and i have my drink right here some cranberry juice delicious um man great workout uh thank you to my brother thank you to my sister for showing me how to edit um i'll definitely get this video out later tonight and all right guys get ready for day number three